The civil society budget advocacy group Siasbank is demanding that government immediately prioritizes releases to purchase food relief for millions of starving Ugandans. We also need to prepare food because trust me, starting February, March, we are going to start reporting debts. So we don't want to hear this story from OPM that there is no money to buy food. So we need to put the food now in place. The Minister for Finance, Planning and Economic Development, Matia Kasaija, yesterday confirmed cutback on budget disbursement to some departments of government in order to generate a 200 billion shillings kitty to buy relief food. We have changed priorities in the course of the budget execution. You have heard. Money has been turned. Some of it is being kept. Like this I must also reveal to you. There may be need for government to buy food and distribute it around the country. So we have had to, to hold some of that money. But the Food Rights Alliance argues that the reality on the ground with starving communities is that specific interventions need to be quickly unveiled. Operation Health Creation has to rethink. Their biggest focus is on cash crops. They need now to rethink the immediate response mechanism. We have to prepare seeds for vegetables. Because those are the ones that are planted immediately, the rains come, and in two weeks people can pluck leaves and have a meal. Government is also in agreement with the civil society group, who warned that the current drought will affect production, revenue targets, as well as economic growth. My only challenge is on the local revenue. If this weather remains the way it is, uh, that, that's the only problem I can see that may prevent us to reach where we want to go. The Minister of Disaster Preparedness has since revealed that more than 9 million Ugandans across different parts of the country are in urgent need of relief. Reina Ojun, NTV Weekend Edition.